Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 30th of 2024 is titled Slim Lands on the Moon. So what do we see here? Well, here we have the smart lander for investigating moon. And that is the slim craft uh, launched by the Japanese Space Agency, and which recently landed on the moon and dropped off two rovers to explore the moon. Now those two rovers, uh, the larger of the two hops like a frog and can move around the moon surface in that way. The smaller one about the size of a baseball can actually pull itself apart and move itself along the surface of the moon in a different way. So how what's the best way to explore the moon? Well, let's try out some different ways and see which one works the best. So way to try out a couple of these. Now from the smaller rover, we take a picture and we can see the original landing craft there. And if you notice, it looks a little strange. You can actually see the rocket on the top here. It yes, it is actually upside down. So the lander was did not land the way that was expected. It's actually on its side from the way that it was intended to have landed. And that means that its solar panels are not going to work. They're not going to be oriented correctly toward the sun and that that part of the craft is not going to be able to work. However, that's not such a bad thing as you might expect because it is not expected and not planned to survive the nighttime on the moon. So night on the moon is starting in another day from this location and the craft would not have survived that anyway. So it's not a big loss to the mission as we can still use the rovers to be able to explore different parts of the moon. Now, why is nighttime on the moon so tough to be able to survive? Well, on the moon, the moon rotates once every about 28 days in approximation. And that means there are 14 days of light and 14 days of darkness. So a night on the moon would last two weeks here on Earth. And that's how long it would take. So you can imagine getting your solar panels charged up. You would have to have an immense amount of energy to be able to survive the lunar nighttime because you would have no way of keeping enough power to last for two weeks because of the way the solar power works. Now, what else could you do? Well, you could go into hibernation and hibernate for two for two weeks and then re wake up when the sun is back up again when the sun rises. However, that doesn't always work very well because the temperatures on the moon with no atmosphere can change from hundreds of degrees above zero in the sunlight to hundreds of degrees below zero in the darkness. So it's a very extreme change. You sometimes think we get very big changes changes here on Earth. Well, this is far more extreme that we get on the moon, making it very difficult for things like rovers to be able to, ex to survive an extended amount of time. So we've had rovers in the past. They've lasted a couple of lunar days or a couple of Earth months. So it's a big difference than what we've been able to do on Mars. Mars, which has a similar day length to Earth, is able to have rovers that can survive for many years or even more than a decade. On the moon, that's much harder. But it will be interesting to see what we learn from the two rovers that are going to explore this portion of the moon as part of this mission. So that was our picture of the day for January 30th of 2024. It was titled Slim Lands on the Moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Orion Rising. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.